So a question that I get from so many guys is the difference between staying inside the hostel and staying out, that is renting. And I know it is usually really difficult, especially if you are joining for the first time, you usually don't know whether to stay inside the hostel or to find a rental house. But this usually depends on you personally and also it depends at times even with the cost that you are doing. So today, that is what I'd like to describe to you. Hello beautiful people, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Les Odor, and on this channel I talk about nursing, I give health tips, I also do vlogs. So if that is something you are interested in, then you should consider subscribing. So first, I'll start by describing how it's like to stay in the hostels. So, when you go to the hostels, like when you are staying in the hostels, you usually pay a certain amount. It's not free and it's not included in the school fees. It's usually paid separately. So. When we joined, we paid like 5,000, so it is usually 5,000 per semester, so for the whole year is 10,000. And I remember, like, we had to pay it differently, like, you pay fees differently and you pay for accommodation differently. And I think even now, I've heard rumors that it has been increased to 7,000, I'm not sure about that, but for us it was 5,000. So, you know, you only have to pay that 5,000 shillings for that semester, and then you're good to go. So. After you've paid that, they usually provide the mattress and uh, the other things you provide for yourself. So they only provide mattress, but then you'll carry your own blanket, you'll carry your own pillow, and you'll carry your own bed sheets and pillowcases, all the extra things to carry yours, but they provide you with the mattress. So when it comes to the rooms, I'm not usually sure if it's similar in every campus that people usually stay four per room, but if coming to Kempisi Muranga, they usually have in every room four people and then there are like 32 rooms in every floor so for the four people you are there sanitation is not really bad because a maximum of three in every toilet because we have like in every like car line we have four and usually have like if you calculate the number is usually three in every one toilet so sanitation is not bad the bathrooms are quite clean and also when it comes to water, like water is always there. So when it comes to sanitation, staying there is not a problem. Something else that when it comes to electricity, electricity is always available. You can charge your phone. You can have a heater to heat maybe if you want to use hot water or if you want to like boil water for even drinking or making tea. And you can also iron your clothes. There's a room for that. And apart from that is that when it comes to the hostel, because I had so many people asking me that is it that staying in the hostel is the same as being in a boarding school whereby you are like so restricted to some things like moving and such kind of things. So I like to clarify that staying in a hostel is not like you are being restricted in a boarding school because you can go out whenever you want. You can come in whenever you want because when you're in college, it's your life and you're the one who decides like what you want to do. So if you want to go home, you can go home. If you can miss classes, it's your own life. So you're the one to decide about that. So it is not restricted. You can like move. But when it comes to visitors, it is kind of limited because the hostel is inside the school and you just can't bring any foreign person inside the school. So that is a little bit limited. But when it comes to other things, you can leave the hostel. And then another thing is when it comes to cooking, you are not allowed to cook inside the hostel unless it's the other like private ones. Usually have other private ho hostels like nearby the school whereby you are allowed to cook and even have other things. But for the one that is in school, you cannot cook. You have to go outside and like look for food. So most of the time if you're staying in, you have to be eating in a these hotels. You have to be eating in a hotel then the, the room will be only for sleeping, but you can do other things like making tea and such simple things, but you can't have a gas for you to cook. Another thing about staying, so remember, you are almost four people, so at times you'll end up to have to tolerate people, because especially when it comes to ladies, you remember, ladies usually have some, can I say, issues, so at times you really need to know how to tolerate people, because you're going to meet people from different places, with different kind of characters and you really gonna have to tolerate them and at times if it's not working for you you just have to leave but for most of the time when it is during your first year and you have to stay in the hostel you just have to tolerate but if you can even get a free room somewhere else you can as always move it is not that when you're given that room to stay there you are restricted to that place and you can't move if you feel like it's not fit for you you can move to another different room 
So the other thing is stealing. So like any other college or any other school, like a place where students are, stealing is like, can I say a must? Because at times you'll, li you'll even leave your phone on top of your bed and just go and pick something. Maybe you've left soap in the bathroom. When you come back, you won't find your phone. Like there's so many incidents of stealing and you just have to be careful. And even when it comes to clothes, at times you've just like left your dress on top of the bed. And when you come, you're missing it. So there's many many chances of stealing and people are just like you know in college people are so disparate like they want to fit in so they end up stealing your clothes so that they can put them on they end up stealing your phone so that they can sell it and have money to do other things so there's too much sell stealing another thing is about washing so for us we usually wash but then the hanging lines are like behind the hostels so you have to go down and go and Air, like we call airline your clothes so something is that whenever you leave them there and no one is looking after them someone can come and pick it because i remember there's a day i almost washed a whole line of clothes and when i came back to pick my clothes they were all gone like someone just took the whole line so you just have to be careful and at times you have no option because you can't be able to like sit there and wait for clothes to dry you have assignments to do you have classes to go to you have so many things to do you can't sit there and wait for your clothes to dry so at times it is just the way it is but at times you can be lucky because there are some people whom they've been placing their clothes there and it has never been stolen so it is just a bad luck for some people and something is that you just have to be careful or else you just have to move to a rental house if you can't take it the other good thing about staying in the hostel is that you have easy access to the school compound, the library. As in, when you want to go to the library, you just have to move like a few steps and you're in the library. When you want to go to class, a few steps and you're in class rather than someone who has rented a house like, I don't know, a kilometer away and they have to walk every morning. So you, you get me? So it is easy to access the school. It is easy to access any like any time because you find like for us, You'll be just seated in the house and the teacher is already calling like we have a meeting and now you are not even ready you know some people even have to look for fear so that they can access the school compound so staying in the hostel is really so easy for you to access like the school compound so easily and especially if you're in your first year and you're still not really sure about like classes and such kind of thing it is so easy for you to stay in the hostel so that whenever you're just called you can just get down and get there immediately and then you know for us even at times when you get to the third year at times it is not even a month for you to attend those meetings and those kind of things but in your first year you really need to be obedient now when it comes to the rentals the first thing that makes me prefer it is that there's reduced people's stress like you just don't have like you know at times when you're staying the four of you you can find that someone is just giving you stress, you're always arguing and such kind of things. So when you're staying alone or you're staying with someone, let's say two of you, someone whom you're comfortable with, there's reduced people's stress. Another thing is about privacy, that when you're staying like in a rental house and you're far away from school, like you, ha you can just live your own private life. Like let's say you're married, so you know your husband just can't come in the school compound and come and sit with you inside the hostel, or your boyfriend just can't come into the school compound, come and sit with you in the hostel. Like it looks so weirdo, and I usually see some people do this, like especially when it comes to the boys, like they bring their girlfriend inside the the room, and yet they have other three of his roommates sleeping in the same room, and they're doing whatever thing they're doing. So it is really weird. So there's privacy like you can just live your own life another thing is that you can cook your own food so you know there are some people who don't prefer like eating in the hotel like due to sanitation like for us in Muranga I find that the sanitation is not quite good so eating in the hotel has been quite difficult for some people because they end up saying they have abdominal upsets and such kind of things so if you're not comfortable with eating in the hotel and struggling every day to look for somewhere to eat then that can be the best choice for you just renting a house and now you can be able to cook for yourself you can be able to cook food that you want because at times you can you find that maybe these people don't have the type of food that you want like every day you go there just eat chapati dengu chapati and beans you eat bideri as in it's just almost similar food each and every day but when you have your own house you can cook whatever you want like you can just decide like today i want to cook omena and 
most of the time you find, especially it depends with the places you've gone to because let's say you're in Urang and the people here, like they don't eat that food, they eat a different type of food. So that means in the hotels, they'll be cooking the food that is mostly eaten in this place. So being that you can cook, it makes it a little bit easier for you. Another thing is that you can invite whoever you want. Like, you know, for us in the hostel, it is, it is usually restricted, like no visitors. But when you're in your own house, you can invite your friends over, you can invite, like, even if it's your relatives over, and you can, like, you can feel like you're living your life again. So you can invite whoever you want to invite. Another thing is that you can do things at your own pace. And what I mean by doing things at your own pace is that Whenever in the school compound, you find that people usually kind of compete. Yeah, I remember in my video that I explained about five things you should know before joining nursing school is that nursing school is so competitive. And the reason as to why you'll see it's competitive is that you'll see people competing, literally. Like, there's some people, let's say you are four of you in that room. When you wake up at five, they'll all wake up at five only because they feel like, hey, so she's going to study and I'll be sleeping. So people are just competing, competing, competing. Like at times people will wake up even at three and they light and they've switched on the lights. So you are, if you're someone who can't sleep with lights on, you're forced to also wake up. So at times you're doing things depending on how people are doing it. And also most of the time you won't be able to do things at your pace because you'll end up doing things because people are doing it at that time and they're doing it that way. So staying on your own, you're able to do things at your own pace. The other thing about staying in the rentals is that you don't have to move around school every time. So you can find that there's a time, maybe it, you are on your day off, you are on your clinical and you're on your day off, but it's on a Wednesday and all the other people are going on with their normal businesses, like the lecturers are around. So now that's when you want to put on that dress of yours, you want to put on that shirt of yours and go behind the hostels and try and wash clothes. So whenever you're passing there, those lecturers are busy looking at you and you just feel like you don't have the, like the privacy that you want. Like just moving around the college whenever other people are doing normal things, like if it's especially during the weekday, it's so difficult. Like you just can't move around the way you want. But when you're in your own house, you can just move around, you can do whatever you want, you can put on whatever you want because you just can't be passing around those offices wearing what you want. <laughs> I hope you're getting me. The other thing is that it is safe as long as the place you're staying is safe and you can lock everything and even the gates usually lockable it is a safe place but remember no place is safe because any times people any time people can just get in and rob rob you everything and at times even that's how college is safer because in college no one can just enter through the gate because you have like the soldiers but in that plot or in that rental house that you're staying People are like, you don't even know who your neighbors are and anyone can come in and they can take your stuff like when they want to. And then lastly, for hostel, it's usually quite affordable than rent rentals because for hostel, you will pay that 5000 for the semester and it's usually six months. And remember for rentals, like for us here, you'll find that most of the, let's say, bed sitters, it's usually 3.5, like 3,500 and 4,000 and even 5,000. So you can be paying the same amount someone is paying for six months. You're paying it for only one month. But at times, it also depends on the course you're doing. Because like for us in nursing, yes, you'll stay in the hostels for the first year because you haven't started going for clinicals. But remember the time you're going for those rotations, maybe you've been taken to Naivasha. Now you have to, you, you don't have hostels there. You have to get a rental. But you'll have to, you'll end up buying your bed, you'll end up buying tables, you'll end up buying so many things. When you come back to college, you won't you won't have a place to take those things to because you are still having another rotation to go to and you can't take those things at home. So that means you have to find a rental. Like you have to find a place where you can stay even when you're around school. Like after you're done with the first year, most of the time it is usually like so obvious that you start just staying in the rentals. But for other courses, like for those who are doing clinical medicine, you find that most of the time they stay in the hostels for almost their entire time. Maybe the only time that they move out is when they're going for their rural rotations, because I think they only go for the rotations once, but the rest of the time they usually just go for clinicals around the college, like in the hospital that is next to the college. So like for them, they just have to stay in the hostels like the entire time. So it comes, it becomes different with whichever course. But I know maybe someone has a lot of questions, like you have different kind of questions when it comes to staying in the hostels or getting a rental, but 
maybe I haven't touched that, so you can still leave that down on comments in the comment section, and I'll answer it as well. But just know that this all depends on you. There's some people whenever they just join from the first day, they just get a rental house. Like there's some people who have never stayed in the house, they say like it's so suffocating. So this all depends on you. It all depends on your pocket. So you just have to choose your own choice so that's it for today guys and make sure you like this video make sure you leave a comment and make sure you share the video and see you on my next video bye bye